What up, guys? Second time's the charm here. I almost had the video done. Whatever reason, my phone just shut down. So uh, tonight is uh, Wednesday, which means it's NXT and AEW night. I meant to get a video out last week, but it didn't happen because I went out the door and I totally forgot. But I'm remembering now, so I researched and I got all the information for you guys. Tonight's show looks like it's going to be a pretty good night for wrestling. Um, AEW, of course, is coming first. Tonight is supposed to be the in-ring debut of Lance Archer. Will he live up to the hype so far? He's had great vignettes. Jake the Snake is selling him like the uh, almighty, which is great. Um, who is he going to fight? Didn't say. I'm sure it's going to be some jobber. Sammy Guevara's friend seems to be at all these shows, and they feed him to people, so it's probably going to be him. Um, we're going to see the second half of the TNT Championship Tournament bracket to be revealed. Last week they revealed it's Cody versus uh, Sean Spears and Sammy versus Darby Allen in the first bracket. So there's going to be a lot of interest in who fills out the second bracket. Uh, we're going to get Cody and Darby Allen versus Sammy Guevara and Sean Spears, which should be great. Uh, and they're uh, also advertising Omega versus Trent. Now these two matches, I think it's pretty obvious. Trent and Omega will have a great match. Trent can wrestle. But Trent's not beating Kenny Omega. Um, granted, this is a tag team match, and Darby could probably take the pin. Uh, I love Cody, but it's getting to that point. You see Cody in a match, you know he's winning. So uh, not a lot to predict here. I think it's pretty obvious. I don't think we'll get any shenanigans here because uh, I don't think they're going to have the entire uh, inner circle there. Just like last week when they were showing them in a private suite. That could have been filmed prior or, you know, whatever to keep the, fifth, the count of 50 people in a building down or whatever it is. Um, there was a lot of speculation this week of AEW filming in a secret location, which was leading fans to think it meant the Hardy compound, which there's a good chance it is. I mean, it would be pretty damn cool if the inner circle show up there to go try to beat down Matt Hardy. And, of course, the Woken world is unleashed upon them. So we'll have to see. Was it a secret location to film this event? Which I don't think it was because... Florida only went under a full state lockdown today, so they would have gotten this filmed already. Um, so I guess we'll have to wait and see, uh, but I'm hoping it's a hardy compound thing. Um, but like I said, the statewide lockdown has now happened, which will probably stop a lot of state-to-state -state travel. There are supposed to be a few shows of NXT in the can. A few, not many. So... Um, NXT will probably become a recap show here very soon. I don't think they'll be flying guys in for one or two matches like they're doing for Raw and SmackDown. But uh, this week's show for NXT looks to be really good. They're going balls out tonight. Uh, one match is advertised. Uh, what's why do I I can't think of his first name? Lee versus Damian Priest versus uh, DiJack for the North American belt on the line. Uh, there's a lot of potential here for DiJack to uh, turn heel against Lee, who's been pretty arrogant and cocky against him for a while about being champ. Uh, they're advertising the Velveteen Dream versus Bobby Fish. Another good match. It's going to be. It should be. Uh, and there's going to be a last chance ladder match qualifying gauntlet match. Uh, but the participants in this match are all people who didn't qualify in the first bracket or whatever, this is only for one person to get a chance to be in the last spot of this tournament. So the people who are fighting tonight are Zia Lee, Dakota Kai, Caden Carter, Aaliyah, Donna Perrazzo, Shotzi Blackheart. So whoever wins that match is going to get in this last chance, well, ladder match, whatever, gauntlet, whatever it is. So they have three matches advertised. They all seem fire. So, you have that. I might be watching NXT over AEW tonight. Not that I don't record it, but AEW does seem to sound a little bit better. But um, if, they, if AEW is still filming vignettes for this show like they have the others, those vignettes, like last week's, really saved the show. Um, especially the last Archer. Was that last week's Lance Archer's vignette? Um, so hopefully they've planned ahead. AEW has been... It just sucks about this lockdown crap because they had been on total fire leading up to this. Even their first quarantine show was really good. Everybody admitted it was good. 
So that is it, guys. That is what's going on tonight in the wrestling world. Um, just glad I made a video for you. Please hit like, comment, all that good stuff. <sighs> Got another 30 days of this lockdown shit, man. I'm telling you, if they push this uh, into, into May too, man, uh, people are going to lose their minds. Enough is enough after April. I don't care if people are still getting sick. This needs to end. Checks are not going to continue from Big Daddy government for the rest of the freaking year. And a $1,000, $1,200 paycheck is not going to keep my lights and me fed and paying my fucking car insurance. I mean, people have got to go to work. Plain and simple. It's a virus. And it's been here a lot longer than January. That's all I'm saying. I have people who think they got it back in 2018. I have friends, family who got it. If they didn't get it, it sure as hell wasn't the flu, and some of them even were tested for the flu. But they had all the coronavirus symptoms. Some of them it took six weeks to recover from. Coronavirus has been here for at least a year. If you lived in Florida, everybody was talking about a nasty-ass virus that was floating around the state for well over a year. And nobody knew what it was. If you got it and you went to the hospital, they told you it was a virus, and they did nothing for you. They told you to go home and write it out. And that's what people have been doing. I luckily haven't gotten sick from it, and either has anybody in my family. But I mean, it's a virus, so is the flu. Yeah, it's scary. So is the flu. 100,000 people died in 2018 from the flu in the United States alone. The world went on about their lives. That's all, I, I'm, I'm, that's all I'm going to say. I'm getting real worked up now. Because I can't believe they're pushing this for another month. And I guarantee you, May 30th or 31st, they're going to tell you, stay indoors. We're keeping this lockdown going on. Or no, May 1st. Uh, WWE, I think, is going to call their bluff come May 1st because they're advertising a show in New York City. I am assuming at Madison Square Garden. Because that was supposed to be the end of these last set of deadlines by May 1st. So we'll see. Maybe it's going to take somebody like the WWE to finally say enough is enough. We're holding our show because they're selling tickets still. They canceled an April 27th show. They're playing nice. But I think when May comes and they still want to push this shit, hopefully, like I said, WWE will be the spark that says, you know what? No, we're going back to work and other people will follow suit. So cross your fingers. Uh, somebody has to do it. WWE was the first person to do it after 9 11. And people followed suit. They wanted us to hold up indoors then for that shit, too. Because some terrorists blew some shit up. So, I don't know, guys. I'm worked up now, but there it is. Tonight's card lineup for AEW and NXT. You have hours worth of entertainment lined up. Watch them both. And like I said, this might be the, a couple more weeks of shows of NXT. And then, I don't know. Oh, and it's already been said. WWE stock has plummeted. This was a week ago by 60%. And now today it's coming out. Massive, huge, massive firings are in the pipeline. People cannot sit around and not produce money and keep their jobs. So in another month, if they haven't started firing people in the WWE, they will. Can they keep NXT UK going? Can they keep NXT America going? Can they keep... Full rosters on Raw and SmackDown going with so many wrestlers that don't even get on TV. I mean, I think we're going to see a lot of fat cut real quick. I think uh, the clones are going to be gone. Yeah, they still have jobs. Bet you didn't know that. Tamina is going to be gone. Titus O'Neil. I think we're going to see shit tons of people fired here real quick on WWE. Uh, and the WWE ain't going to be happy about it because they want their collection of wrestlers uh, to be kept in their little holding cells in the WWE prison. But it doesn't mean that AEW is going to be like, gobble, 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 I'm going to sign all your talent. Because, granted, they don't have a huge blown-up roster. They still are paying people with no income coming in. So, I mean, I'm just using this as an example. People cannot continue to stay at home and not work. We're going to go, not into a depression, we're going to go into a great recession like from the 1920s where people are selling their cars. People were selling their children back then for money. That's how bad it was. I mean, uh, call me whatever, uh, a tin fat, tin, tin foil hat wearer or whatever, uh, uh, what do they call it, conspiracy theorist. 
It's not a conspiracy. It will happen. It's happening already. We're just not in the thralls, the thralls of chaos yet. They're rioting already in California. You probably don't know that because it's not being told on the news. They've been on lockdown, what, an extra week or two than most of the country? And they're already rioting. So, I mean, we have to put our foot down at some point. When May 1st comes, people have to start voicing their opinions or just pushing back. We can't continue this any longer. This is the end of week three for us on the, uh, it wasn't mandatory stay at home, but I mean, I go to my mom's and get dinner every day. I'm one of about 10 cars on the road. Everybody's staying home. And the majority of our cases here in Florida came from people that were traveling who still went on cruise ships and flew overseas to some freaking country and came back and had it. We've, and they've passed it on to other people. We only had two cases in my county. Now we have 38, which still is not bad. There's millions here. But people are, oh, my God, we got to lock up our houses and stay indoors. So I don't know. I'm going on full rant mode now. I got to cut it out. But I'm just saying, people have got to start getting angry here after this month. We've played ball long enough. We cannot continue to live like this because there won't be any way of living. They still have these people in lockdown in Italy, and now there's food shortages. They keep you at home, not working, you're broke, and now there's no food coming in. Because the stores, I guess, I don't know, the trucking or the delivery, is not. it's not moving in fast enough. So give that another week or two. Let's see how long those Italians continue to sit in their homes. There's going to be full-scale world rioting and looting. And it won't just be that. When that's going on, there's going to be people killing each other in the streets. So, yeah, welcome to how I'm thinking, but it's going to happen. People have got to start pushing back against our governments. I mean, they're already pushing for cashless, no money, cashless society, because cash is dirty. Okay, yeah, cash is dirty, but so are your ATM cards and your credit cards. They're no cleaner. But there's a whole, if you follow, if you know what Agenda 21 is, that's all a part of it. And some of this stuff is actually starting to happen that's in that crap. So it has me, like, freaking out a little bit. But anyways, guys, on a lighter note, this is supposed to be AAWT NXT night. I just, I think I wanted to rant. I haven't put out a video, I think, in a week. So forgive me if I'm freaking you out or you're like, oh, he's crazy. Uh, uh, call me crazy. We'll see you in a month. But anyways, guys, hit like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. <sighs> Enjoy your entertainment. Uh, I did watch Tiger King because of all the hype. Yeah, it was a little fascinating, but after two or three episodes, it was like, eh. But it's fun to watch. It's only seven episodes, so if you haven't watched that yet, go watch it. Uh, can't recommend any... Oh, if you haven't seen any of the Dark Side of the Rings stuff, uh, you can find them on YouTube. I don't know what channel it airs on now. I know a week ago it was the Chris Banois story, which was really good, but I've watched about four or five of those since then. I think this is season two, the Banois one. But I mean, I watched the Montreal Screwjob one. Um, God, what was? I can't remember, but they're all very good. I almost cried a little bit during that Banwell one, but it wasn't about Banwell. It was when it was about Eddie Guerrero dying in his hotel room and everybody finding him. So if you're looking for stuff to watch, that's some good stuff to watch wrestling related wise. Dark Side of the Ring. They've got a season and a half, two seasons of this stuff. So go watch that stuff. Highly recommend that. Uh, so anyways, guys, that is it for now. Stay safe. Stay indoors, I guess. We've, like I said, in my last video, I was yelling at you for going out and toy shopping and toy hunting. Your YouTube videos are not that important. Uh, we need to slow this shit down if this is even real, which, yeah, I'm sure people are getting sick. But, I mean, if you're causing the spread by going out, you're an asshole. So I'm, I'm controlling myself. Can you, too, for a month? We want our lives back. All right. So that is it, guys. Mad Viking out. Thanks for putting up with me. Hit like. It's right there. I will try to put out. If I don't have to go to my mom's house every day and entertain those kids, I will be putting out more videos. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. And when they were talking about people being cut, Kyra Zane was the name mentioned because she just got married. She's back in Japan. And they don't even know that she can come back to America, which means they were talking about she's going to be on that cut list, even though how great and talented and popular she is. No more Kira Zane. You're probably like, what is he looking at? Now it makes me wish when I was still going out hunting that I picked up all these that I saw in stores because that's probably going to be her one and done figure and she's going to be very sought after. So 
Just saying that for collectors. So this is it officially, guys. I'm hitting, <laughs> I'm hitting stop. Mad Viking out. Thanks for watching. All that good stuff. Stay safe. Stock up on food now while you can. Use delivery services. My mom used one today, and she got toilet paper because they're keeping it in the back rooms. So they're not putting it out on the floor, so five assholes take 20 freaking packages of toilet paper. If you need toilet paper, go to Winn-Dixie's online delivery app. Yeah, they're going to charge you $14 a month for delivery. You can deliver every day if you want. And she got they got everything they asked for. The people were super nice. They made sure you got your product. And she got toilet paper and paper towels. I don't know about Lysol stuff, but I mean, you're going to get toilet paper if you ask for it. So that is it, guys. Mad Viking out. Stay safe. Stay indoors. Play video games. Find me on Xbox One. We'll play something. I'm Mad Dog MDM. Uh, I believe. If not, if you can't find me, hit me up in the comments and I'll tell you what games I play. Mostly shoot 'em ups. I'm on Fortnite. That's really the only shoot 'em up right now that's holding my attention. I do go back to Battlefield 4 every once in a while. I will play one if there's people on it to play with, etc. Um, I don't know. That's just an option. <laughs> Maybe we can talk together on uh, live. So that's it, guys. I will catch you later. Mad Viking out.